One for three with a walk last night in his four plate appearances. Right. Hands it back to first, keeping Wise honest. Sooners are, uh, looks like they are an aggressive base running team. Andrew Hansen, one of the few kids from Bakersfield on the roster. Bakersfield's been good in baseball, but uh, I wouldn't say necessarily outstanding over the last few years from the prep level. Well, the Sooners have 30 stolen bases and 38 attempts. And that's going to be driven to center field, and Seelman's going to get under it, and that's going to be an out. So they've, you know, they've got 30 stolen bases in uh, 18 games, so, and they had uh, a couple last night. So, you know, they're going to they'll, they'll, they'll run, and uh, Bob Macaluso, the Bakersfield coach, is an aggressive uh, coach that way as well. Right. In the case of Alec Hansen from OU, you know, when you're 6'7", sometimes you have that long delivery and long stride to the plate and gives a base runner maybe a little bit of an extra step or two if you're trying to steal a base. Fraley had good lead, the base runner for Bakersfield in the first, but again, he's got a groin injury, so I don't think he's going to be running. Hansen not messing around with him. It was usually talking to the different coaches, you know, about Hansen and what they were going to do with him, and I don't think starting pitching was necessarily in the plan early on. Well, again, he kind of really pitched so well in the fall that he earned a spot in yeah. the weekend rotation. And it was wide open. I mean, last year, the, uh, the, the three weekend guys that led Cal State to the uh, WAC Tournament Championship uh, were all seniors, and they're all departed now. So wide open jobs there. Right. And Hanson grabbed it. Give him credit. And a strike down low, 0-1, one, one out nice here. Nice breaking pitch yep. there. That's at the knees. Chris Andrisos is hitting 150. He's played in eight games, five as a starter at first base. He only has three hits and 20 at bats with no extra base hits. Pitch foul down the third base side there. And then both teams are kind of trying to find their way a little bit this early in the season. As Erica Williams and the women's basketball team shows up. Great day for baseball here in Bakersfield. 80 degrees and a little bit of a breeze blowing out to right field right now. The pitch outside, the setup outside, 0 and 2. It becomes 1 and 2 here. Dritos looking down the left field, left third base side there. It is third base coach. And they both Bakersfield and OU, their head coaches are also serving as the third base coaches. Don't see that of every team. And fouls it back. Looks Gunner like a hanger there. He's yeah. lucky. Uh, he's lucky Wise that one was, didn't get hit. Wise was going, play a little hit and run action there, and now it's one and two. It remains one and two. Pete Hughes, in his third season as the Oklahoma head coach, graduated from Davidson in 1990. He is the third base coach in this game. Big 12, so tough in everything. And swing and a miss, strike three. So the first strikeout for Andrew Hansen. And he's got two down here. And that's going to bring up Henry Haley, the left fielder. <laughs> Haley was a designated hitter last night. So uh, give him a chance to play a little bit of defense today. One thing we saw last night, very aggressive hitter. Got a lot of power. All right. So runner on first, that's Wise on first. Andrew Hansen checks him. Goes back, back over to Max Carter, the first baseman. Haley, the batter for OU, at this, had two doubles last night and a walk and stole a couple of bases. So he was, uh, he probably was their best offensive player last night. Even though he's still batting only 186 right now. Eight hits and 43 at bats. And that's sharply hit foul ball into the dirt field behind us. Just a loud line shot. It was interesting comparing CSUB versus Oklahoma today on the basketball court. They ran a stat out there, you know, saying that only there's only 9,000 full-time students here at CSUB. 
probably three times that many at OU. I bet it's even more than three times. I bet it's uh, yeah. you know, it could be up over thirty thousand or even closer to more. You know, it's those are that's a major university back there. Another foul ball. This one going back over third base line into a car, probably probably Jeff Evans' car. Actually, I parked further away. My car got hit by a foul ball here last year. Just put a dent in the hood of the uh, hood of the car. Car. Huh? Luckily, if it had been a few feet up, it would have didn't take out the, the windshield value. Huh? Well, I'm not. It's not for sale. Yeah. Not ready to change out the car yet. So Haley now down 0 and 2 here. Two outs in the bottom or the top of the second. The pitch outside. 80 miles an hour on that one. Got a little bit away from it, it looked like. Yeah, he's probably, last night you might, Haley had a two run double when it was an 0 2 pitch and it was too fat. That time, you know, just making sure, probably just trying to maybe nibble toward the outside corner. And Andrew Hansen keeping, I guess he's wise to wise in that case there, Jeff. One and two. Wise has stolen one base in three attempts this year, so. Uh, Noisy is six for six. He's their best base stealer. Not like he leads all the other offensive yeah. categories. Might as well lead in that too. And the pitch, and that is driven to right field, deep all the way to the track, but he is there. And that was Chance Gusbeth with the catch. So that ends the inning and ends the threat. So well, they were fortunate that ball didn't get up in the air. That was a line drive that uh, 